friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and today I have more of an intermediate sequence. Um, of course, if you're a beginner, you are more than welcome to jump on in. I'll be giving some modifications and variations. So when you're ready, we can go ahead and begin on our backs. Making our way down to our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of your feet to touch together. Maybe one hand on your belly one hand on your heart. Close your eyes here and just take a moment to take some deep breaths in through the nose and some open mouth exhales. Another deep breath in through the nose. Feel your belly rise. And open mouth, exhale. And maybe we'll activate our Ujjayi Pranayama breath, our breath of fire that will literally heat us up from the inside out. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Seal your lips and constricting the back of your throat, exhale back out through your nose. Another ujjayi in through the nose. And exhale. If you have an intention here, I invite you to go ahead and raise it to the forefront of your mind. That could be a prayer, a mantra, wishful thinking. If you are drawing a blank, I invite you to maybe use my intention, which is just gratitude, being really grateful, thankful for this life that we have, the fact that that we were chosen to wake up this morning and that's nothing to take for granted. Whatever your intention was, let's go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, send it out. can flutter your eyes open. Bring your hands to the outsides of your thighs to close your knees together like a book. And keeping your feet flat on the floor, just windshield wiper your knees side to side to release the lower back. Wonderful. You can bring your hands on your knees and just rotate your knees outwards. And maybe take it the other way. Wonderful. Then hug your knees in and rock and roll up to a seated position. Uh, kick your legs out behind you, making your way into a tabletop. With a nice flat back, stacking the hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. We'll take a few wrist stretches here, just rocking back and forth gently. Kind of bring a bend in the fingertips and grip into your mat. This is good practice for inversions, teaching yourself to really grip the mat. Then flip your fingertips outwards and rock side to side.
and then flip them back towards you. You may need to walk your hands a little closer to your knees and just very gently rock back and forth, not too intense. Perfect, then flip to the tops of your hands. And you don't really need to add in movement here. Just kind of breathe through this. Then roll up to your knuckles and come to sitting on your heels. Ooh, you might feel your ankle pop. <laughs> All right, inhale, lift the arms up by the ears, relax the shoulders down the back, and exhale, go pulse the arms, lift the chest. Deep breath in, and exhale, dome the spine, Reach the fingertips out. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, dome the spine. One more, inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, dome the spine. Wonderful. Place the hands down on the mat. Inhale, curl your toes and exhale, send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. And you can pedal this downward dog out as it may be your first downward dog of the day. And when you're ready, you can come to a still downward dog. Inhale, gaze forward and exhale, step your feet right behind your wrists. Generous bend in your knees. Rest your torso over your thighs. You can keep your fingertips down on the mat if you choose, or you can grasp onto opposite elbows here. And let your head hang down nice and low in ragdoll pose. So much that you can look directly behind you. Maybe you choose to sway side to side. Maybe nod your head yes, or shake it no. If you grasped opposite elbows, go ahead and switch out your grip for balance. And when you're ready, slowly release your fingertips to the mat. Heel toe your feet almost together to touch, but leave a little sliver in between. And slowly, on an inhale, roll up to standing. Head coming last. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders up by your ears and exhale, roll them down your back. Another inhale up by your ears. Roll them down your back. Then bring it back the other way. Inhale up by the ears. And exhale down. One more back up by the ears. And exhale down. Wonderful. Inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears in mountain pose to dasana. Exhale, palms facing out, fold forward, leading with your chest, folding at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Take your Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your chest forward, thighs up off the mat. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Awesome, inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, hop, skip, travel there however you please. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high, and exhale, forward fold, fold it over. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, chaturanga dandasana, High to low plank. 
Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Open mouth, exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Great job. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Another deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. And dive it down. Bending into the knee, setting up for chair pose. Inhale, chair pose. Sit nice and low, squeeze the thighs together. Send the tailbone directly down to the mat. Engage the arms and shoot energy out of your fingertips. Hold and breathe here. Suck your lower belly up and in. And see if you can sit a little bit lower. Maybe lift all 10 toes up off the mat and then place them back down. Deep breath in. And then staying in chair pose, exhale chair pose with airplane arms. Sweep your arms behind you. You wanna feel like there's a magnet in between your hands, trying to pull your hands together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale back to chair and exhale forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high little plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands. Setting up for crescent on the right. Inhale to crescent lunge here. Hold and breathe. Really bring that left heel forward as much as you can, pressing your left knee up towards the ceiling. Engaging everything here, deep breath in. And exhale, eagle, crescent with eagle on the right. So drop the right hand over. Interlace the palms, option to take a bear hug here and hold and breathe. Find something to gaze at. Still engage everything in your legs. Deep breath in and exhale, unwind back to crescent. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, warrior two. Face it out. Don't forget that bend in your knee. You got this. Hold and breathe here. Gaze right over your right middle finger. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bring your right hand up and over. Little to no weight on your back left leg, or you can bring it behind you towards the top right thigh. Hold and breathe here. And deep breath in, lengthen, and exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog, and open mouth, exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Great job, you guys. Inhale, sweep the left heel up, and exhale, low lunge, step it in between your hands, setting up for crescent on the left. Inhale to crescent, hold and breathe here. Again, press that right heel towards the front, engage your right back leg, Press your knee up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in. Exhale, crescent with eagle on the left. So you'll bring your left hand down, right hand over, interlace so your palms touch. Option to take a bear hug here. Don't forget to bend in your front left knee. Hold and breathe here. Find something to gaze at. Helps with balance. Deep breath in and exhale. Release your eagle, inhale back up to crescent, and exhale to warrior two, pivot it out. Find that bend in your front left leg again, and gaze over your left middle finger. Hold and breathe here, you got this. Send your tailbone directly down to the ground, deep breath in, 
and reverse. Hold and breathe here. Maybe send your gaze up towards the inner palm. Deep breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Hide a little plank, take your Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Open up, exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Okay, and let's flow that two times, breath to movement. So inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up overhead, and exhale, fold it back over. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward, and exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, chair pose, sweep the arms up high, and exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Inhale, back to chair pose, and exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, and exhale, low lunge, step it between your hands. Inhale, up to crescent, and exhale to crescent with equal arms. Inhale, back to crescent, and exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it between your hands. Inhale up to crescent on the left. And exhale, crescent with eagle arms. Inhale back to crescent and exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful, inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, fold them back down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome job, you're almost there. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through your hands. Inhale, up to crescent. And exhale, crescent with eagle arms. Inhale, back to crescent. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low plank. One more leg, inhale, upward facing dog and open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. And exhale, low lunge step between your hands. Inhale, up to crescent on the left. And exhale, crescent with eagle arms. Inhale up to crescent. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, take your vinyasa. Break's coming. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful job, you guys. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Another deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward, come down to your knees. Take a sip of water, maybe towel off a little. Just wanted to build up some heat. It's 
So I'll give you just a moment, kind of catch your breath. Awesome job for following. I know we're moving quickly, but I wanted to help build some heat. This is kind of like a good wake up vinyasa. And once you're ready, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. And we pedal this downward dog out. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, travel there. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the arms up high. Bringing your palms together to touch. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, let it out. Slowly, heel, toe your feet one time apart so that they're maybe about hips width distance. Inhale, gaze up to your palms. And exhale, slowly back bend. Slowly come back up to rising. Deep breath in and exhale. Dive it down through heart center. Inhale back up to rising. And exhale, standing back bend. Inhale back up to rising. And exhale, dive it down. Wonderful, place your fingertips on the mat and bend into either knee, alternating. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands on your mat. Step back into a downward facing dog. Taking a few spinal rolls here. Inhale up to your toes. Dome your and exhale, send your gaze forward, rounding your spine, sending your hips back. Another inhale, rise up to your toes, dome your back, and exhale, roll it back forward. And exhale. Exhale, take a few more on your own. Rising up to your toes, doming your back. And exhale, keeping your legs straight and sending your hips back. One more. Wonderful, inhale, lift your right leg high. And exhale, low to lunge, step it in between your hands. Dropping down to your back knee, untuck your left back foot. Inhale to a low lunge, sweeping your arms up by your ears. And breathe here. If this doesn't feel comfortable to you, you're more than welcome to bring your hands down onto your mat where you feel more comfortable. And hold and breathe here ensuring that your hips are squared forward. So if there was a light on either side of your hips, you'd want those lights to be beaming straight forward, not off to the side. Deep breath in. And exhale. Frame your foot with your hands. Slowly coming back, shifting your hips back into a half split. You can come up to your heel, flex your toes towards you, and submit down, folding your chest over your thigh. And breathe here. And then back up to that lunge. Send your foot back 
to tabletop. And then curl your toes, hips up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step it between your hands, dropping your back right knee, untucking that back right foot. Inhale up to this lunge, hold and breathe here. Again, option to bring your hands down for more stability. Breathe into the hips, open the chest. Deep breath in and exhale, frame your feet, shift your hips back into half split. Fold your chest over your thigh and breathe here, just submit. Slowly rocking back up to that low lunge. Send your foot back to meet the other foot in tabletop. And then send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg high and exhale, low lunge. Step it between your hands. Rising up to um, warrior one. So you're going to keep your back left foot sort of at a slight angle pointed towards the top of your mat, bending into your right front leg. Inhale up to warrior one. Hold and breathe here. Make sure that your hips are square towards the front. And then inhale, straighten that front left leg and pivot so that you are facing your mat sideways. You can bring your hands down to a T. Inhale, puff up your chest and exhale, fold over into a wide-legged forward fold here. And you can adjust yourself if it feels good to open your feet a little wider. And you can place your hands down here if you like, or you can bring them to your big toes and begin to pull your chest. back up to standing and this time pivot your weight so you come into a warrior one on the left side and you may need to adjust your stance if it's a little too wide <laughs> and hold and breathe here in your warrior one In and exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left. Heel toe your feet slightly apart, maybe about hips width or a little bit more. Moving into Tadasana, moving from Tadasana, namaste, moving from Tadasana into wheel pose. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with this, it's totally fine. You can come down to your mat and go into wheel pose as you feel comfortable. We're gonna inhale that Tadasana and exhale slowly leading with your gaze from the ceiling, bending backwards. Keep going. And when you're ready, you're gonna turn your hands so that they come down to the mat in full wheel. 
and hold and breathe here. And when you're ready, you can slowly head first, then back, lower down. And keep your feet flat on the mat. And just place your hands on your belly and breathe here. When you're ready, you can slowly flare your eyes open if you close them. Get, getting ready to move into plow. You'll rock your hips up, supporting your hands on your lower back. And bring your feet directly over your head to the floor. And breathe here. And slowly make your way into a shoulder stand. And bending your knees, roll gently back down to your feet on the mat, hand on your bellies, or hands on your belly. Just breathe here. And when you're ready, slowly press up to a seated position. And drop your knees down soles of the feet to touch, holding on to the outer edges of your feet, lifting the chest, and inhale and exhale or lead your chest forward. back up, stretch your feet out in front of you, inhale up to a seated Tadasana, and exhale, seated forward fold, fold it over. You want to make sure you're leading with your chest here, again if you need to place your hands under your shins or your ankles and then pin your hands down so that you can be sure that you're pulling your chest forward as opposed to arching over. You can send your gaze at your toes. And slowly roll back up. Great job. And from this seated posture, you can bring your feet in, cross your ankles, and press back up to downward facing dog. Inhale, send your gaze forward, and exhale, come into a high plank. Hold and breathe here for just a moment. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Engage your core, press the earth away from you. You got this. Not much longer. Hold and breathe here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down onto your belly. Getting ready for floor bow. You can lift your heels up behind you and reach for the outer edges of your feet. And I start to become, I start to come to the top of my feet and then curl my toes so that they're flexing out. Gives me something to hook my hands onto. Send your gaze forward and then inhale, 
lift your chest and exhale press your feet into your hands lifting your chest even more Rest it down. Belly down Shavasana. You can place your right cheek on the mat. And just breathe here. And bring your chin back to center. Place your hands by your shoulders and press back up to sitting on your heels. Make sure your toes are curled so you can get a nice toe stretch here. And just rest here for a moment. And from here, untuck your toes. Spread your feet slightly out a little wider so that you can begin to sit down in between your knees. And I'll actually scoot forward a little bit. Into hero pose. You can bring your hands to your heart center here. If this feels too intense, you can always bring a blanket or a block underneath your bum for a little more leverage. Deep breath in. And exhale if you feel comfortable, lower down. You can keep your hands either on the soles of your feet or you can extend them over your head. And just breathe into this if you feel any discomfort, shooting pains, any pressure in the knee, feel free to gently press back up to that seated position and come out of it. Otherwise, take deep breaths in through the nose and open mouth exhale. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth exhales. When you're ready, slowly come back up. You can, I like to hook my hands on my ankles to help pull me up and then press back up to tabletop. Maybe pitter patter your feet. Cross your ankles and come to a seated position. Moving into um, a half lotus and then full lotus so we can bring your right foot or whichever foot you feel comfortable with, but I just use my right foot up towards my inner thigh. More of a hip crease, I mean. And if you feel comfortable here, you can just close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees and breathe into this. comfortable you can take your left ankle and bring it up over the right shin up into the left or the right hip crease and close your eyes and breathe here in a full lotus Sitting nice and tall, bring your hands to heart center. And just breathe here. Slowly flood your eyes open. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, drop your right hand down. Hinge over the right side, breathing into that left lung.
inhale back to center and exhale drop the left hand down breathing into the right lung Inhale back to center and exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. Slowly release your lotus. And in this seated posture, you can open your legs out wide. Just kind of adjust yourself, maybe lift one knee up and then the other. Inhale, puff up the chest. And exhale, seated wide-legged forward fold. Walk the fingertips out to where you feel comfortable. here in this wide-legged forward fold is try and bring your forehead in contact with something so that you're not tensing up and holding your breath so even if you need to stack your fists on top of each other and bring your forehead in contact with your fists like this it's better so that you can relax and actually breathe into this rather than supporting yourself trying to keep yourself up and tensing your muscles just breathe here in it wherever you are slowly press back up to rising and bring your right heel in towards your groin inhale sweep your arms up high and exhale drop them over to the left heel, bringing your right hand towards the outer edge of your right foot. And then your left arm in towards your right knee. And breathe here. And slowly release. Bringing your right ankle out and left ankle in. Inhale back up to that seated Tadasana and exhale. Drop your hands over towards your right foot. Left hand on the outer part of your right foot. Right arm in towards your left knee. And breathe here. And slowly release. Bringing both feet in. You can pivot back towards the front of your mat. Hold on to your knees. Squeeze them up towards your chest. And then slowly with control, begin to float your toes off the mat. Coming into a boat pose, you can keep your feet um, straight pointed straight forward with a bend in your knees, or you can extend your legs out. Shaking is good. Lift your chest, engage your core, hold and breathe here for just a few more breaths. Deep breath in and exhale, slowly lower it down all the way to the mat. Finding yourself in Shavasana. Rest all the way out on your mat. Let your feet fall out sideways where they may. You can close your eyes. Let 
your chin roll down towards your chest. Release your shoulders, hands by your sides. Slowing your breath. tension in your face, go ahead and release it. Maybe release your tongue from the roof of your mouth, part your teeth, and keep your lips sealed to relax your jaw and remove any wrinkles from in between your brows. Really just Melt into your mat. You may find that you have more time to rest in Shavasana. And if so, take your time. There's no rush. But if you would like to move on with the rest of your day, you can slowly begin to wake your body up with a deep breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale. Maybe you wiggle your fingertips and your toes. And then you can roll over in fetal pose on your left or right side, whichever you choose. Using your bicep as a pillow, fetal pose represents the rebirth from our practice on our mat to the practice in our daily lives. So just pause and take a moment before we make that transition. And when you're ready, you can slowly press up with your left palm and come up to a seated position with your eyes closed. Whatever seated position feels comfortable to you. And with a nice tall seat, you can bring your hands to your forehead to remind yourself of the good thoughts, positive thoughts. Hands to your lips to remind yourself of positive words to others and even more importantly to yourself. And then hands to your heart to remember that you were created out of love by the source of ultimate love. And you are loved. You can put your eyes open. Namaste friends. God bless. Pray that you have an encouraged, exciting day. Um, and I thank you guys so much for joining me in my practice and letting me practice with you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and comment below. Let me know what you liked and if you'd like to see anything else. I am always taking requests and I think I've been fulfilling them pretty consistently. So. Just drop down there whatever you'd like and I'll see you in my next video.